It was entirely an indigenous Canadian project. It was designed in Canada, built in Canada, funded in Canada. It was the creme de la creme and involved the, the, the absolute elite of the aerospace industry in Canada and it produced a world-class aircraft that uh, was unbeatable. It was actually the end of the golden age of Canadian aviation. The Reynolds Alberta Museum asked our class to assist them in uh, restoring their full-scale mock-up of the Avro Arrow. Our class has been involved in recovering the aircraft. Nothing is ever perfectly square. It's always a little bit off or you know an angle or something or curved. So we've had to take what we've learned from Nate and just you know make it look presentable like it's actually our own and that's what we take a lot of pride in. Couldn't be more pleased uh, uh, with the assistance. It's first class and uh, I'm, a, I'm an extremely happy honorary aviation curator. <laughs> it makes me proud to, to see our students get some on-the-job work experience, uh, to see the passion that, that they've put into this thing, and then also just to, you know, to be part of history myself too, to, to have an aircraft on display with such a, a huge significance in aviation history. Well, in the future, you know, for many people to come see this will inspire them, as it inspired me and my classmates, I believe, to go on and pursue your dreams and what you really want to do. I think it'll, it's, it's generated a lot of enthusiasm with the students, and, and hopefully they'll carry that on through their, their career. It's a monument to what Canadians can do if they're motivated and, and uh, funded and energized. Uh, so I hope that the legend of the arrow uh, stands the test of time. <laughs>